Hi there guys and girls. Welcome to the first episode of Red Dead Mysteries. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe. So you won't end up like this guy. Oh my god, bro. In this episode, we will be looking once again at the infamous mystery of Clausen's Rest. For those who don't know, Clausen's Rest is a small shack you come across in Red Dead Redemption 2. In this shack, however, we can witness a horrible sight of two children dead, presumably due to starvation. As we look around the house, we see empty cans of food indicating that the children ate everything until they ran out of food. We can also see a basket and a knife, and there appears to be blood around it. Or it might just be juice from the food. The player can also find two cigarette cards and a comic book, if that's what you were looking for. We also come across this letter in the nightstand, which is from the children's mom. By reading the letter we learned that the mom went to get their money back from these two men who had stolen it from her. She also told the kids to stay inside and don't answer the door to anyone until she came back. Well, from the looks it's safe to assume that the mom didn't come back. But the real question is, what happened to her? And who are these men who stole her money? I looked around the house to see if there's any sign of her, but failed to find anything. But as we ride north, not so far, there is this one family who is creepy in all ways. The Shea Porter family. Now, you get to know about them while doing a mission with Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... They said it was really... Freakish. Family local boogeymen, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. We're just simply by wandering around until you see these red enemy markers. It's hard to miss them while riding near this area. You see, at first I thought these are some angry crackheads, and due to natural instincts, I killed every single one of them. Because I'm that type of guy who acts first and regret later. Anyway, like a pro gamer I am. I load into a new game to see what's up with this family after reading about them in a post. This time, I sneaked upon them to learn more. And as I was approaching the compound, they started talking. And since I didn't want to spook them by getting too close, I hid behind this little bush. And not to my surprise, I could barely hear what they were talking about. But if you listen closely, you can hear that they are talking about this one girl who they kept in the woods until their poppy found out about it. We has that one we keeps in the woods. Poppy was boiling when he sees her, don't you? Oh, what the hickory is her name now? <laughs> Digs her up and ass, don't you? <laughs> now, we don't know why they kept this girl in the woods and what exactly happened to her. But with what we can hear, it seems as if they killed and buried that lady somewhere. It's also unclear that if the lady they are talking about is the children's mom or not. But if it is her, then now we have to find a grave or pit near their house or in the woods. I sneaked around the house to find this grave. As stealth is not one of my strong suits, I got caught instantly and they started shooting at me. I proceed to kill them all in a moderately cinematic way. Now that we don't have to sneak anymore, I proceeded to search around the compound standing up like an alpha. I failed to find anything around the house except for this little plant, so I proceed to search in the cabins. We don't even know if the lady they mentioned is the children's mom or not, but they were talking about meeting these people they killed while going to the market. There is this one dialogue while killing the porters. This suggests that they killed a lot of people and possibly buried them somewhere nearby. Now while searching the house you will get some amount of cash, a shotgun and some supplies. Also there is this box in the barn which can only be acquired if you come here with Javier. Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. <coughs> oh, well, look what we have here. 
I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good. I think this is where they stash all the money they stole from these people they killed. Because why else would you hide it in a barn, under a box with heavy security? So it's safe to assume that this money, or some of it at least, belongs to the mob. Anyway, while searching the cabins I came across this map on this desk. There's a couple of broken bottles and a magnifying glass on top of it. And if you look at the center of this magnifying glass, you can see that it points towards the inn of New Hanover. Now, is this where they buried the bodies? I mean, if I killed someone, I wouldn't be dumb enough to just bury them by my house. That's just noob gameplay. So to find some answers, I rode to this place. Upon reaching it, I noticed that this is where the brush fire took place. I search for a pit or possibly a grave, but I can only find this man who is killed by this brush fire. Now, what if this man is not a man? And what if this man is a woman? And the woman is the children's mom? What if they took her here to bury her and accidentally caused a fire? Just kidding, it's just a guy who got killed by a brush fire by sleeping through it. What a noob. We still haven't found anything about the mom. And without any proper evidence or answers, I quit my search and walked towards my camp. All I could think about is this lady and what really happened to her. Maybe we'll never know how this woman died. She could have even been killed by a wolf. Anyways, thanks for watching you guys. And feel free to comment down below with your findings on this situation. Until next time.